Hi guys, this is Goodflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. In this part, we're going to be doing some harder stuff. Lovely. Um, but before that, let's talk to Elizabeth, do some requests, or accept some requests. Whatever requests are relevant to whatever floors we're going to be doing. And, um, which would happen to be... Tiara Hair and Night Rains. I can tell you right now, I'm probably not going to be getting these Night Rains for quite a while. Um, mostly because apparently I'm... I have too many requests right now, but because those glowing shadows are actually nothing to mess with, and I'll, I'll let you know about that later. Um, so yeah, there's no point in fighting those glowing shadows, because they, frankly, are totally out of my league. Um, but anywho, so that's enough of that. As long as, just make sure you accept their requests while you're on that floor, just because, you know, if you don't, well, then you'd be clipped. And so I'm going to be taking our new party member along, Korumaru, awesome, awesome dog. Love him. It's cool. Um, and what else is we? Who else are we bringing? And me too. I apparently news to me. Uh, no, nope. <laughs> just kidding, man. I'm good at psyching myself up. Apparently, uh, out apparently. Um, because we're bringing Akihiko. I guess that sort of makes sense. Also, from now on, um, during the Tartarus stuff, or the large, large majority of Tartarus stuff. As soon as I unobstruct this path by doing absolutely nothing, the Minato way, I'm actually going to be speeding stuff up, so let that begin. With music in the background, of course. Unfitting, I might add, because this is just going to be the battle theme playing 24-7 with no sound effects. It is daunting, but honestly, like, yeah, speeding up, it makes things so much more manageable. Um, and the funny part, too, is, like, you still can see what's going on, like, really, really clearly. Like, you know, like, what moves I'm doing, and you know, like, who I'm hitting, and what's weak to what. Just because, like, you know, the whole drawn-out, like, gunshot thing is just, like, you know... <laughs> pretty obvious. You can see the moves pretty clearly. Like, Koromaru just used Augie Lao. Because Koromaru is, in fact, the, uh, the fire user. Um, fire and dark, weak to light magic. Anytime there's anyone leaked to light or dark magic, it always kind of scares me, but luckily no one actually uses that, as far as I know. So it's not too bad of a thing. Um, what's cool about Koromaru is Koromaru is actually, actually blocks fire. Like, it's not just not, like, resistant to fire. Otherwise, I, I suppose it doesn't actually really matter, because in all actuality, like, when someone, like, is resistant to fire, they only take, like, four damage, which is, like, next to nothing, but it's still nice to have someone who's, like, completely blocking something. Um, he also learned some physical moves, I think. I know he learns counter, high counter, which is nice. Other than that, he's kind of just an awesome dog, so, you know, there's always that going for him. Um, maybe it's one day I'll have his sound effects in, because he does do some cool dog stuff, like dog howls and all that, you know, fun little stuff. Um, but other than that, just the average Tartarus grind, um, I would, it'd be nice to have a Golden Shadow, uh, but I guess I can't find him. In fact, you know what, I'm, I'm almost positive I'm gonna stop actually looking for it, or maybe I didn't, maybe I actually did find it off screen. Um, because I am replaying a Persona playthrough, just to catch up for some whatever reason. So, like, there's that to look forward to. And oh boy, new, uh, oh god, something just fell. <laughs> If you can hear that wind, I apologize. And if you can hear that, uh, that buzz, I also apologize. These guys! Don't want to fuck with these guys. These guys could have actually killed me. Um, luckily they're just nice enough to just use Sukunda. I don't know what I'm thinking, thinking that I can mess with them. But that's a bad idea. Yeah, because Heatwave killed Yukari. Almost killed me. <laughs> Getting the hell out of here. Um, and thank god I have a... Uh... uh Revival Beats <laughs> and Healers. Um, anywho, the song playing right now, if you could obviously tell, is Mass Destruction, the main battle theme of this game. I'm probably not always going to be playing out of Mass Destruction. In fact, I'm probably going <clears> to <throat> try to show off a lot, as much of the soundtrack as possible. Because this game has a pretty awesome soundtrack. It, it's a Shimigami Tensei game, so it holds its title. Um, and I escaped accidentally. I, all, I notice I do that a lot accidentally, because, like, if you escape, the button is, like, left on escape. So what happens is, like, um, you just instantly, like, you just instinctually press buttons and you end up escaping, even though you don't mean to, because those guys are chumps, and I probably could have kicked their asses. Um, but speaking of kicking asses, these guys, these are, I think these are the... I don't think these are guys are the last guys until the uh, the barrier, <laughs> but they're certainly good at kicking my ass. Um, that's for sure. So yeah, a bit out of my league, apparently. News to me. 
Um, which means I'm just going to be going to the good old Velvet Room to fuse something. This guy has lost his usefulness. I, I'm sorry, Orthus. <laughs> um, but whatever. A level 29 persona with a level 10 social link. What's going to, like, a level 34 Joe Shoho 10? I really see his name. Um, that can't be too bad, right? He has, he also has Dodge Ice, which, uh, those enemies use. If you didn't notice them kick my ass with, uh, Ice, so now I'm, I have a good idea to dodge ice. I don't want to get rid of dodge ice. The whole point I have, the whole point, the whole reason I uh, transferred dodge ice was just so I could actually dodge ice. So they don't kill me. Um, so this guy's cool. Uh, no. Stop trying to change dodge ice. I like it just the way it is. Um, anywho's. So yes, fusing personas, because that's what we have to do in order to survive. Um, and because Evade Slash is better than Dodge Slash, I'm replacing that. I, I don't think those stack, so don't bother with that. I know the am I think the Amps do, um, but those are two whole different categories in themselves. And, because, just to be extra careful, I am going to fuse a Genbu. Um, one of the four consolation things. I swear to god, you know, in Devil Survivor 2, the animation, I thought I thought for sure, I like predicted that Hibiki Kuze would have this as a demon, because he had Byako and he had Zuzaku, but then he just stopped having the consolation demons. I thought he'd end off with Koryu, but he didn't, and I was kind of disappointed. Mostly because that anime was kind of... Oh no, I feel like it could have been more than 13 episodes, but I am getting so off tangent. Devil Survivor 2 is an awesome game, I might want to let's play that someday, sometime in the distant, distant future, because this game is going to take forever. Um, but Genbu is actually strong against ice, which is going to help things a ton. And not only that, um, Genbu is also part of a demon, um, a certain set of demons, no, a certain set of personas, uh, that you're, you're going to want, just for the distant, distant future. Um, because we, they, I don't think Igor has even, um, brought up the subject of special fusion yet, but he is part of a special fusion that we want. We'll just get him now, and so he doesn't end up getting into, like, you know, the past. And, evidently, <laughs> no, um, that preparation meant jack shit. So let's, uh, let's rework my party. Uh, I think rework my strategy, rework my luck, and try this again. I think this is my successful attempt. Take three, I supposedly. Who knows what it actually is. Um, so how do I go about doing this? I'd like to look at this past me. What I've realized is that some of these some of these Tartarus floor bosses are pretty damn difficult. Okay, they're weak to fire. That's news to me. I also stupidly fused away my uh, Orthus without passing on fire. Augie, Augie Lau. So that means I don't have a fire user anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Which is unfortunate. And because Koromaru technically doesn't know they're weak to fire yet, he's not going to use the fire move. Whatever. Luckily, Mitsuru is bossing it, and they're using Makara Karn. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys are programmed to do that if you knock them down with fire. Which is horrible. Because, you know, that kind of creates a huge problem. <laughs> Wasted turn. Um, but yeah, I love it when they do that. Uh, yeah, these, this is kind of fatal. I don't know why I don't have Yukari in my party. I guess because two of them. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Wait, no, that makes no sense whatsoever. That makes... I think I think the whole reason I had Koromaru and Junpei on my team is because I was sort of hoping they'd use fire and knock them down. But I don't think they do that because there's these bastards are using Makara Karin. And the only way I can actually get rid of Kar Makara Karin is to actually hit them with an ice spell. So I'm going to have to take one for the team. <laughs> so now you can start using fire, man. No, Koromaru. You're supposed to be taking advantage of that, and you're not. Gosh. <laughs> AI party members, man. Um, whatever. Might have saved me from death, so I don't mind too much. No, it wouldn't have. I'm pretty resistant to ice right now, actually. Um, and I'm pretty sure ice is the only thing they use. Uh, no, I doubt that, because if that were you, then this boss fight would be a cakewalk. Like, if, it, if, there's any, if there's ever an enemy that only uses one type of attack, then it's technically a joke, because, you know... Because you can bring a persona that blocks that certain element, and then you'd, you'd be done. You wouldn't even have to try. And these guys use mind charge. That's probably what's going to kill me. A mind charge? <laughs> That's definitely what's going to kill me. Um, these guys, like, you know, oh, he's frozen. I didn't notice that. Uh, mind charge Mabufu laws are pretty damn fatal. If you couldn't already tell, it hasn't killed anybody, but that's fine. 
Um, again, I don't have my freaking. I don't have, uh. Whatever I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? I don't have any fire moves, and I, that's. That's stupid planning on my part, I will say. Um, I also have no idea what I'm doing, in general. Uh. Usually I go for the d d divide and conquer route, and I've noticed I'm not actually doing that right now. Luckily, Korumaru is gonna catch on. I love the dog howl. That is like the most badass thing ever. <laughs> and the, you know, the, the close-up eyes of the dogs. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, Korumaru, but uh, that dialogue box said wolf wolf, and you clearly only barked once, so I'm gonna say inconsistency there. Jeez. Oh, um, but yeah, that's the whole reason I have Korumaru and Junpei, is because they're their use of fire, which is good to have for this boss fight. Um, if I had to think, I'd probably replace Koro, I'd probably replace Junpei with, uh, <laughs> he's dead anyways. I'd replace Junpei with Yukari, just because I'd like to have another healer. Um, don't bother replacing him with Akihiko, because Akihiko would get wrecked in this boss fight, because he's weak to ice attacks. Um, but yeah, I came so close, one of them is, one of them is almost dead. And I cannot even use a fire spell to, like, you know... This is what happens when you have to rely on the AI to, like, you know, knock people down for you. It kind of, uh, becomes problematic. Hopefully I have a bead chain? Hopefully? I think that's what I'm going for. No, just medicinal powder? That's fine, everyone's kind of at good health anyways. Thank you, Koromaru. Beast in it up there. He is a beast, after all. Um, Bufudine. Do I... I don't think that's... I don't resist that, do I? What did I change to that doesn't resist? Why aren't I in Genbu form right now? Uh, that's sort of stupid of me. Um, which sucks, because Yukari, uh... The Mitsuru is probably going to take this turn to heal me. Which would mean another waste of turn, and they're just going to slowly start to kill me. Um... I'm... And I changed Karamaru to Knockdown. I'm not sure what that exactly accomplishes. Did Korumaru actually take a turn to heal me? Can Korumaru even heal people at all? Oh, uh, I guess I changed it to Knockdown because I actually want to start them using fire moves. Yay! Because good old uh, Korumaru. Um, I'm also pretty... Oh, that's why I'm not doing the Divide and Conquer thing. I'm pretty sure these are those kind of enemies that even though they're weak to fire, fire doesn't do anything to them. As you just saw, an Augie Lao only did 38 damage because, like... It knocks them down, but they're not, they don't take much damage from fire. And Junpei is back down. <laughs> God damn it. Um, uh, luckily I changed, or maybe I just dodged dice. Either way, dodge or resist, either one of them would be beneficial. Um, so hopefully Koromaru is going to be knocking one of them down next turn. I can be killing these guys. Am I going to be killing these guys? That yeah, looks like it. Um, <laughs> I think so. Uh, my timeline says anyways on this editing. But, um, so yeah, these guys are done, luckily. <laughs> Gave me trouble, I'll tell you what. All the bosses are seemingly gi giving me trouble now, and I'm, sadly, I don't think, um, Junpei is going to get any EXP from this, but that, that that hardly matters. I can just, that's just a bit of, 552 XP, yeah. That's like, just like two fights. <laughs> don't think that was worth it. Um, and now we're level 30, which means we can now hold up to 12 Personas, so that's as much Personas as you're ever going to be able to carry. Twice the amount of Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's irrelevant, but still. Interesting. Um, so you can bet your ass that I am, well, reviving Junpei for once, um, for one thing. But also going back to save, because that took me quite a few number of tries, and, uh, that was just stressful as all hell. Um, keep in mind that if you go back to the first floor and someone's dead, they will go home. So make sure you revive them before you, like, don't think you're gonna get an HP boost. So back to speeding up, um, because, yeah, speeding up. Uh, so the track you're hearing right now might be a surprise. It's not, it's, uh, it's a track from Persona 3 Portable, actually. It's, um, not in this game, actually, technically. Um, it's the main battle theme, because, uh, in Persona 3 Portable, if I, I think I've explained this, I've obviously explained this before. Um, but, uh, in Persona 3 Portable, you have the option of playing as either a female protagonist or a male protagonist. And, um, there's actually a numerous amount of differences if you actually choose the female protagonist, which is actually, I find pretty cool. I actually do like that. Um, I have some qualms about Persona 3 Portable, mostly because I don't have access to it at all, <laughs> is the major problem. 
but what I, I do love the chain like what um additions they had to it especially the music the music of course is awesome and apparently Minato doesn't have Zio either I don't know why I'm being so res irresponsible for this part but I really gotta get my shit together um but yeah the music track love it when you're playing as the girl um the entire pretty much the entire soundtrack actually changes like every single theme almost every single theme is different so that's actually really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, so this would be the main battle theme if you were playing as the girl. So I thought I'd at least show it off here, because I'd, there'd never be any other opportunity to show it off. Um, simply because, you know, uh, I'm not playing Persona 3 Portable, and I'm not playing as a girl. So there's that. Uh, so I might as well show off what I'm doing right now. I noticed Akihiko was missing the last time I fought these guys. And also, these guys are actually the glowing shadows from last floor, the last set of floors, so that's kind of interesting. Maybe have gone better. Um, or maybe worse. Mitsuru wants to dig out. No, you ain't doing that. Um, it would be it would be a problem if I actually had a Persona with Zionga, which I don't, apparently. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. Um... So yeah, hopefully, uh, the next, I think the next, the next break is, I believe, oh, Golden Chest. Um, oh god, I love this theme. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I, I, I did mention that. I mentioned that I pretty much love, like, the entire Simrigami Tensei soundtrack as a, as a whole. Um, I guess that's a, a weird way of wording it. Ooh, Mamudo. Oh god, stop trying to dig out. Um, uh. That always gets me nervous. Like, Mamudo has like I think a 20%, 20 percent, twenty twenty to twenty five percent chance of actually killing someone. And considering it hits four people, statistically someone's gonna die, which is always the worst thing ever. And these guys are wrecking me. Luckily, I still have Garula and someone responsible. That's like the only spell I do have. I don't know what I'm thinking. I really gotta get my shit together. Well, I guess I do have um, I do have elemental coverage with this party. I have. I have me for Gorilla, Mitsuru for Ice, Junpei for the Fire, he'll probably never use, and Akihiko for Lightning, so it does work. Except that's not really how things work, because as the leader, Minato should naturally have ev access to every single element, every single spell, and just be totally awesome, because that's just how Minato operates. He's a smooth operator. Um, <laughs> much like Winston Payne. Um, I've been playing Phoenix Red Ace Eternity lately, if, uh, if you didn't know. And that's been swell. So that's totally irrelevant for, for one thing. So let's just continue uh, traversing. I honestly have no idea what, what themes I'm going to use afterwards when I am speeding things up. I do like the speeding up thing. Um, this like this part would have taken like what like 45 minutes otherwise. Um, and this is only like times three speed. And I can actually see what's going on fairly well, so that's neat. Oh, look at all the neat stuff I'm getting. That's going to suck when I actually sw <laughs> do the switch over from playthroughs. Um, but more on that some other time when it actually happens, maybe. Um, so anyways, oh, yes, the, the, the floor, what, I guess, I guess, okay, so yeah, the break is on, uh, floor 110, or 110, so awesome, we made it, but I want to show a little blooper, um, because I screwed up last time, here I am on floor 109, 109, the floor right before the break. The floor that took me like 30 minutes to get to. The floor that killed me before I had a chance to do jack shit. <laughs> this is why I'm not fighting the Golden Shadows. We'll do that some other time, next time, on Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Until then, this has been Skitflash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!